welcome back to ordinary girl budgets it's your girl danielle and here i am with another budget with me for paycheck number three of september so which pen are we going to use today mm, we used this one last time so let's go with this one for today let's take my little bead off so, if this is your first time viewing one of my videos, I got these pens. Well, first of all, welcome. And I'm so glad that you're here and that you decided to click on my video. Now, if this is your first time viewing, I got these pens from Erica over at Black and Blue. Um, I love them. This is the second time I've purchased from her, and I will be purchasing again. Um, so, yeah, if you want a pen, and this is her Halloween edition. These are her Halloween edition pens. So, um, if you want a pen, head over to black and blue 10 underscore 4, I think. If that's right or wrong, I don't know. I'll leave it in the description box on her instagram and um that's where you can order the pins from or you can just go to her youtube page which is black and blue and go to her instagram from there whichever suits your fancy so like i said this is my budget with me for my last paycheck for september so we are going to budget i don't know how much it's gonna be so last time was a total shock so we'll just do 1300 we got a lot of stuff to pay for y'all we got a lot of stuff <laughs> we got a lot of bills this last paycheck i don't know why we just do okay so we have of course, the usual, the car note, the phone bill. We have our last payment for Caleb's senior fees. So we'll do Caleb. Girl, I spit my baby name wrong. C A L E B Danielle. Caleb's dues. Um, it was something else I said I needed to pay. Oh, Dayton's instrument and I think that's it. I hope that's it. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. However, I feel like I am. But whatever. So What's this, September? Okay, yeah, we'll start saving for Caleb's senior head sitting fees next month because he has to um, pay, Caleb has to pay what well, I have to pay. Um, 50, $55 for him to take his cap and gown pictures um, when he actually goes in November. So, um, and that, <laughs> And y'all, with his cap and gown pictures, he only gets his cap and gown, his um, his tuxedo shoot, which they put in the yearbook for the seniors, and he gets one outfit for fifty five dollars. So I mean, it's not bad, but that's just the sitting fee. So when I get ready to purchase these pictures, it's gonna be totally different. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have to start saving for his senior heads um because he's actually going to do another photo shoot um with the guy who did my photo shoot for my birthday this year um and i have to pay a 50 dollars deposit for that so we'll start saving for that in october but um yeah it's it's a lot so and then but the thing about his senior dues, his cap and gown was included, so I don't have to purchase that at the end of the school year. So all of that is included. And it was, you know, a few things that he wanted, a few items like some 
uh, sweatpants and a pullover and a windbreaker and a t-shirt and all this other stuff and of course he's my first baby so I got you know a shirt for me and stuff like that so but anyway Caleb's senior dues were like I want to say like $300 so yeah it might have been more than that almost four but anyway we're almost done we're going to make our last payment on his senior dues and everything will be done i still don't know when they're going to take this money out for dayton's instrument but it'll be in there and that's all that matters and caleb senior dues doesn't have a a date so we'll just go from there so my car note of course we always take a hundred dollars out a week um we also take 25 dollars out for the phone bill caleb senior dues we owe a hundred dollars and that'll be it we'll be done with his senior dues and dayton's instrument is 50 dollars a month so we're gonna do 25 dollars so bills for this paycheck is $250. So uh, we'll take 13 minus 250, and that'll leave us with 1050. All right, so we'll bring our 1050 down here. And over here, we need gas, groceries household personal um personal beauty nails eating out cuz we forgot the last time coffee and miscellaneous so y'all, I think what I'm gonna start doing um with my um cash envelopes, I'ma stuff them for two weeks. Like I'm a budget for them for two weeks, but I'm only gonna stuff them for one week. Because I feel like if I have all of the money in there for you know, if I stuff all of the money, then I kind of feel like I got all the money. Y'all know what I'm saying? So, for gas, we're going to... I think I need to stuff a little bit more in gas because I find myself um, needing more. Like, okay, so I put gas in my car on Thursday and that was the last of the money that I had set aside for gas right so when sunday comes along i typically fill back up for the week to get me to the next thursday but i i don't have it so we're gonna we just gonna have to make it work so we'll put 140 in for gas so minus one oh shoot 1050 minus 140 all right and then groceries is going to get its 150 for and this is for two weeks so all right and then household of course will get its 20 personal will do 60 that's not gonna be enough but we'll make it work beauty i really don't feel like i need to stuff beauty this week because i already have my hair done um as far as my nails i'm about to take these off so this is going to be the money that i already have um set aside so we're not going to stuff nail well we'll put 15 because i really want to try these press on nails from this girl company that I saw um, on Etsy. So, 
and I think for a set it's like a little over thirty dollars. So we'll start saving for some press on nails. Um, because I mean I like my nails, but y'all know I just got them done and they're lifting, and I really I just don't have this one broke like so I don't have time. Um, so for eat out we'll do forty. And then coffee, of course, will get his 10. And then miscellaneous will get his 30. All right, so that'll leave us with 585. So 585. And then we'll do 1050 minus 585. So this should equal to 465. All right, so let's see. We got 140 plus 150 plus that's what that was messed up. 140, 150, 20, 60, 15, 40, 10, and 30. Yep, 465. All right, so we'll bring this 585 up here. Now, let me get down here first. So for debt, payoff, y'all. One of the of my um, payoffs is about to be done. All I have to put in there is a hundred dollars, and I'm gonna tell you why. I did a service. I have like a little side hustle that I do. I took this class, like body sculpting. And so I did a service. I did a, a body sculpting service for a young lady. And she paid me in a money order and she tipped me in cash. She tipped me $5, but you know, whatever. A tip is a tip. I don't care if it was a dollar. It was a tip. So... I put the $305 into my um, FSNB payoff because I'm really trying to pay it off before October. So, I only have to put $100 more in there. So, for payoff, we'll do slash FSNB. It's going to be $100. And then for Bank of America... Since I put a hundred dollars in FSNB, we'll just put a hundred dollars in Bank of America too. So um that'll be two hundred dollars. All right, so we got that already. So we got minus two hundred. Okay, so I don't know why I did that. Let me go back. So really we got like three eighty five here. So We'll do five eighty five. All right, now sinking funds. Um, I know we need to do my PTCB, which will be. I don't know how much I need to put in there, so I'm just gonna put seven. I'll just put eighty dollars in there, cause I don't know. I don't even. I don't have my envelopes or my budget binders out with me so when matter of fact let me just pull it out um so we have let's see oh uh, 20 40 60 80 we got a hundred so 80 should be cool that should be cool um Back to school, we stuffed last week, babe. His birthday is coming up, and I um I got his present, so um I his present is being made, so I need to stuff for that date night. I could start stuffing for it, but. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do day night. Um, um, but yeah, and then for birthdays, 
The only birthday is coming up is my is Babe and Dayton's. So what I'm gonna do is say for Dayton's birthday here. Dayton's birthday is in December. So um, in her other folder, she has her graduation and her Christmas folder. So we're gonna start saving for Christmas next month as well because i'm giving them cash i may get them a couple of little odds and end gifts that i wanted to get gift them but i'm going to give them money to buy what they want to buy so for dayton's birthday we'll start with five there christmas i need to start stuffing this because this is going to be christmas for my mom and my dad so we'll just put ten dollars in there Amazon, mm, we'll just do five for Amazon. My car tags, we'll do five. And I think this is Costco and Sam's. We want stuff for them this week. And I think this is my P.O. box. This is my P.O. box. Yeah. We want stuff that budgeting. Uh, we have stuff budgeting. Because I really want to stuff um, some of my other envelopes that I haven't been stuffing. So. Yeah. So let's see. Oh, let's count this up. So we got 80 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15. So that's 125 so far. Okay, what's this? Oh, this is my savings. This is like my savings thing, right? What's this? Yeah, rainy day. Okay, so I'm about to totally like rearrange my binders because I feel like they're not organized. So I, I'm about to get some organization going on. I just feel like like some of this stuff I need to I need to stuff weekly or whatever. But like I don't know. But ordinary girl budgets. I'm going to put 20 because we're about to start saving for um, our $500 get, uh, giveaway, 500 subscriber giveaway. Jayware is my business name. Um, like, it's an actual business. Like, I have a business license and all of it. So, yeah. So, that's that. So, that was what, 145 so total 145 so we got now 585 minus 145 leaves us with 440 and we'll bring the 440 down and then um i probably shouldn't have done that huh because yeah. now i need to do debt and that last time we did what 70 dollars so we'll just add 70 here so we got 440 minus 270 is 170 so we got 170 dollars left so of course caleb dayton and then i want to say the 100 envelope So, we're going to finally put these $80 in there. So, 170 minus 80. That'll leave us with 90. And we'll do 45 a piece for Caleb and Dayton. And that'll leave us with zero. So, that'll be 170. And that'll leave us with zero. So, that is my budget. 
for this paycheck and hopefully I am I'm so very glad about being able to pay one of these banks off like I am so happy because now I can like the I can reopen this and be using this instead of the bank that I have my money going to now and then once I pay this one off Ooh, I this this one I cannot wait to pay this one off so I can get my that way I can close this bank and open and start utilizing my Navy Federal Bank then I can start contributing to that bank so I can start the process of buying a home um so let me give y'all a rundown kind of like a, what I'm thinking of doing so when i pay this bank off i'm still going to have um two things to pay off i'm going to actually start the process of paying off my truck um i pay my truck note on saturday and my balance was four thousand two hundred and twenty five dollars so um as you all know i live with my mom and um my daughter goes to school from my mom's house so it's easy for for um me to get her to to and from school here in my mom's house um because i can take her in the morning and then she can ride the bus home um being that my mom is a teacher um my dad picks her up from the bus stop and drives her to the house so um and I'm at work. I don't get off until like six. So, um, yeah, it's like convenient for um, her to go to school from my mom's house, being that she's in the eighth grade. Um, she's about to graduate from middle school and she wants to graduate with her friends. So my thought process was, OK, I'm ready to move. I'm literally running out of space in my mom's house and I'm ready to move. I can move. I'm ready to move all of that. But everywhere that I look or ask questions about um, moving like apartment wise, um, they tell me that I haven't been on my job long enough, which is true because I just started my job in August. So like the same day I started my YouTube is the same day I started my job. So, um, I haven't so I decided okay I'm just gonna stick it out I don't want to I'm, I'm I'm telling you all I'm running out of space like everything I'm I'm just running out of space so um I decided to tough it out and um stay here until the end of the school year which gives me um enough months on my job to find an apartment and then it gives me time to pay my truck note off so my thought process is my truck note is four hundred dollars a month okay um i contribute groceries to the house which is um three hundred dollars so i have and then my phone bill is a hundred dollars so there is eight hundred dollars a month coming out of my you know of necessary bills that I have to pay every month so um and yes like my car insurance is included in my car note so um so yeah so I decided to pay my car note off um with my taxes but by the time like if I keep paying four hundred dollars until I get my taxes I owe like twenty two, twenty five on my truck, so I decided to start adding. Once I pay the bank off in October, I'll start contributing a certain amount of money to my truck note. So when I go and pay my truck note off at the end of February or beginning of March, whenever I pay it off, um. 
I won't have to use so much of my income tax money to pay off my truck. So that's my thought process. And then that $400 that I've been using or that I've been having allocated to my truck note, I can then have that $400 going towards my rent. So that's my thought process. Um, of course, I live um, in Tennessee, in Memphis, and um, I, I want my daughter wants to go to a certain high school. So um, I'm looking at apartments in that area um, so she can go to that high school. So um, the apartments in the area, it's a nice city, um, and it's a nice area, and so the apartments um are going to be you know fairly expensive um not too much to where i can't handle it but that extra four hundred dollars would go it would help a lot and it will go a long way for me um as far as my rent so i figured i'll just stay here tough it out stick it out figure out a way to condense some of the stuff that I have um, that makes me feel like I'm cluttered or um, suffocating, like I have no room to move, um, and um, just go from there. Like I'll just um, stick stick it out and pay my truck note off. That way, I won't have that bill on top of rent on top of utilities on top and then that gives me time to save because i know here in memphis memphis like gas and robbers um i'm gonna have to pay a deposit for my utility bills so it gives me time i can start saving um for my deposit in october and all of that so like paying this off it, it's it really means like a lot like i'm so happy to pay this out because it's going to free up me to start saving for or saving in preparation to move for things that i need to move so it won't be such a burden on me and um i won't feel so overwhelmed with what i need to pay and how much it is and I'll just, it's just going to help a whole, whole lot. It's going to help a lot. And paying my truck off in February is going to free up that money. Because um school isn't out in Tennessee until May. So from March, April, May, that's $1,200 that I would have saved from not pay, having to pay that car note. So, um, I'm very excited about that and being able to pay my truck off six months early. Um, yeah, and getting ready to move and apartment hunting and all of that. I'm, um, very, 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 very excited about it. And at the same time, I I won't have to rush I can take my time, find a good place for me and my daughter. Because, of course, my son is 18, so he'll be going off to college. So, he won't be living with me, actually. You know, like, I have to find, even when he comes home, he still needs somewhere to live. So, um, yeah, it's just, um, and he, right now he goes to school um, from his grandmother's house, his, his dad's mom's house. So, he isn't with me every day. I'm sorry that car is so loud. He's not with me every day. He comes home on, well, he comes to, with me on the weekends. So, um, and then, of course, if he's not working, because he does work, um, and then he goes back, you know, so he can go to school. So, um, yeah, it's just, um, it's convenient, you know, for me to just stay put here and tough it out for a few more months. And um, I just feel like financial-wise, I'm on this journey, and I don't want to get in debt further than what I am. Um, it's going to allow me 
to be able to start, like, when I pay this truck off, it's going to allow me to start putting towards my student loan, which is what I haven't really talked about on my channel um, before. So, yeah, we'll talk about that at another time because I feel like I've already talked you guys' ear off anyways about my plan and everything. But um, I will be soon um, getting rid of my colorful binders. I'm really trying to change the aesthetic of my channel um, and have everything flow and cohesive and things of that nature. So pretty soon you will see new binders. Um, and then we'll do a little talk through of whatever, you know, you guys want to know about my binders. But with that being said, thank you guys for listening to me vents for a moment and um i'll see you beautiful ladies on wednesdays bye